Ladies, um, let's switch gears real quickly. Um, someone who I'm a huge fan of, I supported, I campaigned with them. And I was so disappointed when he did not win the, you know, the, he was in the governor's race for Florida. I'm talking about our guy, Andrew Gillum. And there was reports that he was on a short list of, uh, if, if Elizabeth Warren would have got the nomination, the Democratic nomination, that Andrew Gillum was on her short list of potential vice presidential candidates. Andrew Gillum, the brother from, the good looking brother from Florida, marriage, family man. Remember he was caught in the yep. hotel room with yep. was so mad. There was some male escorts, uh, some dirty sheets. And I hate to even talk about this because I'm, no. I'm a supporter. Well, he finally came out um, and said that he he's not gay, but he's mm -hmm. bisexual. So he did come out. Yeah, it came out. Yeah, today. he did an interview the other day with uh, Cameron, Cameron Manning, right? Cameron Hall. Cameron Hall. I'm you sorry. know what? I'm I just I, that's so unfortunate. I mean, because when you get busted, you know. And then you just forced to come on out with it. And it's almost like he could have pleaded the fifth still and said, look, this is still my personal life. This is my business. I don't want to say anything. But then we still would have looked at him sideways. So now he got to come on out and say, well, you know what? I ain't completely, completely gay. I'm just bi. <laughs> you know? Well, Lisa Ray, can I tell you? It is the world that we are living in. People are fluid. They are not afraid to love who they might want to that night, baby. I'm yeah, serious. I want them to. I, I want them I to. I got a problem with it. Let me just keep that real because I'm strictly dickly over here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know, know what I mean? And I, I don't appreciate when you be thinking somebody is over here and then you come to find out they're on both sides. It's just a they new They got to be outed. They got to be busted. And it's but, almost like. But, okay, is that a conversation that you have with a person where you kind of go, okay, let's just keep it real. Um, have you ever had a bisexual experience? Who's gonna you, just, you, know, you can tell that yourself because if you use your finger a little bit, you know what I mean? They can tell you. If you get a little, <laughs> oh, a resistance, you know, then, you know. Ladies, <laughs> you know, going have y'all you know? ever, I mean, we're going to get back on Andrew in a second. Have y'all ever dated a man that you believe was straight and then you found out later on he was bisexual or you had your feelings about it? Uh-huh. I have. I have. I have. And I still, uh, he's still a suspect. Like it ain't came out, you know, uh, but I've been hearing it in the business. People oh, have told me people, when we were even together, people would look at us sideways and I didn't know who they was looking at hard to me I or know him. Who you're talking about. What's going on? I know he's talking about. Mr. Yeah. Ray, I'm going to tell you, I was actually surprised to see you with him. Y'all don't know shit, okay? Yes, I <laughs> do. I know exactly Vivica. who you're talking about. Vivica, was it the yes, one I like... Vivica, was it like 20 years ago? It was a long time ago, right? It was like around Players Club, right? Oh. Well, not that old. I'm a text. Who y'all talk about? No, I'm Viv, you know, but Claudia. I'm a, right. I'm a text you, Lisa Ray, because my I'm text. Wow. I have my, my phone in my hand right now. We can just spill the news. Vivica and Selena, talk about Andrew real quick. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, since we on Andrew, and they're going to, because I'm going to ask for those, uh, in those, text messages after this. I know. Okay, but since we are on Andrew, I do feel like, you know, at some point as a politician, he probably felt like he needed to have this imagery. And there's a lot of pressure to have it, have the imagery Absolutely. of a politician to win. Yes. None of his sexuality and anything that he's doing behind closed doors as far as sexuality is concerned, I just, mm. I still don't feel that that would have made Andrew a poor leader. I still think that if Andrew would have won, he would have done better for, for Florida. I, that's me personally. And I feel like that uh, we have to remember that just because he's a politician, he's a human being. How many um, gay men or women have trouble coming out? This world is, this America's unapologetic. It doesn't really allow you to do that safely anyway. You know, people are, true. are afraid true. to come Absolutely. out. Any, anyway, so he should not be judged just because he's a politician, especially when you have people like Buttigieg who's married, you know what I'm saying? And it was acceptable on that level. And, you know, I want to ask, is it because he's a black man that it's a problem? You know, what's the deal? Um, unfortunately, he got caught the way he did, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still the same lifestyle. And he's, you know, he had a wife and children and things like that. Sometimes people are hiding those things because they're afraid Yes. to come out you know and we i can't sit here just me personally and act like i know what it's like to be living like that inside of myself and be afraid to come out and just be living with with that on the inside no matter if you're a politician a star or whatever the case may be 
He's a human being. So Agreed. the fact that he did come out, even though he didn't have to, he still didn't have to. Wasn't nobody going to check him. He still came out because maybe he just wanted to be free for himself. You know what I'm saying? So just on the human mm-hmm. being side, I just feel like I'm I'm cool with it. I, I think Andrew um, still would do good and he should still run again because that has nothing to do with him doing creating policies. As you can see, we have a fool down to the Oval Office. So if he can be down to the Oval Office, then Andrew can be down to the governor. <laughs> I, I feel like he's embarrassed right bad. now. I feel bad for Andrew Gillum. I think he's brilliant. I think he's amazing. I think he totally destroyed dumbass Ron DeSantis, who's such a goofy asshole in Florida in those mm-hmm. debates. I think he had a humongous future ahead of him. And yeah, it's sad yeah. because I think with black people, and I'm gonna speak on this, we're so we have so we're so conflicted when it comes to homosexuality. Like on one hand, we celebrate it, yes, yes, live your best life. But then we have the black churches, and there's so many yeah. like we support it. No, we don't. It's against God. You know what I mean? Like we need to, okay. Are we for it? Are we against it? Because our black men are, we have a very high rate of of the whole download thing because we don't provide a space for a lot of them to feel that they're safe where they're not going to get disowned, called punks and bitches. And the way they just totally disrespect we have, you know, but, but I, I think, think that's going to change too. I think that's going to change too because I think, when? like Vivica was saying, everybody's so liquid now. And then there are a whole underground world of them that yeah. accept each other, that have women that don't want to really have a relationship with a guy, but they want a baby. And so they're really good friends and they make that decision mm-hmm. to have that. And he can go ahead and date his guy and she's still going to stay with her. And, and then you have beards. You know what I mean? The ones that's just there because they're trying to help save face or whatever. And their life is their own life. So you got one side that's saying, hey, it's my prerogative to stay inconspicuous if I want to. I don't have to let you know about my personal life. Like you said, Selena, my personal life has nothing to do with politics or my religion or whatever. But when you think about it, what it says in the Bible, and of course, they're ridiculed. They're scared. There's some countries now that still ridicule gay people. They don't want it at all. They you know what I mean? Them. Yes, they will absolutely kill them. So there's still amount of fear here that they're like, do I stay in my underground world where we all like alike and like-minded and stay right here? Or do I go out in the world and fake it just a little bit just to get along? It, I it, 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 it is. It's, it's, it's kind of it's just like with us, you know? I wonder how many men right now that are married. I know there's a lot of beers in Hollywood that we're not going to out right now. I'm not even going to give a hint. I'm not going to make no eye contact with nobody right now. But there's a lot of beers in Hollywood right now, right? I wonder how many um, men are out here living this lie because of, of the pressure and like got everybody fooled. Like in Hollywood and New York, you kind of know. But they, they got middle America fooled. Well, you know, Claudia, America- can I just say this? It's not just the men anymore. No. Because, child, we turn around some days and you find out the women is 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 is, is with other girls and, and marrying and doing things. I think before we took our break, you it's know, Nash. Niecy Nash got married and, and looked happier than ever. And is still posting the most. I That was shocking to me, but I was happy to see her happy. Um, and did y'all see the scandal with Lena Waite? Remember? What when happened she, with Lena Waite? Like, yes, she I, I, I was sitting on that. You. Okay. She, she was dating someone um, that was allegedly, you know, straight in the beginning, you know what I mean? And they got married, you know what I mean? And they moved and they, you know, was happily ever after. And a couple of weeks later, allegedly, that she met up with old girl, the actress that played Harriet, and now they together. So that was like, oh, girl. But, you know, I can't hate on that because she's from Chicago. So I was like, the pep game is strong. You know what well, I mean? I love yeah. Lena Waite. So Lena Waite yeah. can't do no wrong. I, I yeah. actually love Lena Waite. So she she really fair- she again, wants- again, though, it's her personal life. And so when you get your personal life, just light shine on it. Do you supposed to say, oh, well, here, let me unveil the whole curtain for y'all. Here it is. Or do you say, oh, y'all learned and found out a little bit, but that's all y'all get. Because that's all I want y'all to know. You know, there's, a very, there's a very famous married woman, a married couple that um, when I first got to Hollywood, I was working on the set and they kind of tried to set me up to go to her dressing room. And I was like, oh, my God, there's a setup. Who? And then like, Who? I'm going to text you Who? that. I'm going to text you. I, I'm this needs to be down to the group Who? text. I- <laughs> and then my friend was at a party in Atlanta and she saw two legs in a bathroom stall, like two girls going at it. Right. 
And when she got like the door open, it was the same very recognizable female who was married in Hollywood. And in a was, bathroom? Was that a luxury bathroom at least? Or somebody's house matching? It was a nice hotel. And she was like this. I don't want, she goes, don't run your mouth because I don't want no one talking my business. She goes, don't knock it till you try it. And I'm going to hit the group chat. But on that note, we're going to take a quick break. Let me go to my Girl, phone. You too. are so dirty <laughs> down low. I didn't I'm say no. We're going to walk <laughs> out with the queen when we come this back. This is a messy Monday. <laughs> 